Hi! Welcome back to Shimadzu Asia Pacific YouTube channel. Today, we are going to show you on Simple Rose 2 screening with our PY screener. First, let me start off with a quick explanation on Rose Directive. Rose is an acronym for Restriction of Hazardous Substances. It is a directive to restrict the use of hazardous substances in electrical and electronic equipment. Since July 2006, maximum allowable concentration of targeted heavy metals and flame retardant compounds in electrical and electronic equipment had been enforced which is known as ROSE-1. These regulated substances must not exceed the concentration limit as shown in this table. By July 2019, four more substances which are classified as plasticizer had been added into the ROSE list, and this updated ROSE list is now known as ROSE-2. In this video, I will focus mainly on flame retardant and plasticizer substances as these two groups of substances can be detected simultaneously using one instrument. Before I move on to demonstrate on how to simultaneously detect these two groups of substances, let me first briefly go through the purpose of adding these two group substances in the electrical product and why the concentration of both substances had to be controlled and regulated. You may wonder, why do people use these substances in electrical product? Let's first start with phthalate ester. Those regulated phthalate esters are classified as plasticizer. The purpose of adding plasticizer is to improve the flexibility of plastic or rubber so that it can be easily shape and mold. Without the help of plasticizer, it is impossible to mold the plastic into the shape you desired since most of the raw plastic material may be too rigid. Moving on, polybrominated diphenyl ethers and polybrominated biphenyls are classified as brominated flame retardants. Based on the name, you might have already guessed the purpose of having these two groups of compounds added into the plastic. They are added to make the product less flammable hence, decrease the ability of materials to ignite. If phthalate ester and brominated flame retardant are so useful, why is there a need to regulate these substances? First of all, it is to protect public health. Studies had shown that exposed to phthalate ester may cause reproductive health effect, while brominated flame retardant may cause cancer and also reproductive health effect. Another reason is to protect the environment. As shown from the picture, large amount of electrical waste may be dumped away in an open environment. When the electrical wastes are exposed to harsh weather, there is a possibility that the hazardous substances may leach into the soil. These substances may be toxic to plants and wildlife too. To prevent the brominated flame retardant and phthalate ester from causing health effect and damaging the environment, they are being regulated and must not exceed the limit as shown in these tables. Any electrical and electronic equipment fall under these 11 categories that want to get C-mark must also fulfill ROSE 2 regulation. Then, how do we detect and check for these substances in the electrical products? If you do an online research, you may find a suitable method to detect these substances from either literature journals or from an international standards organization. For example, International Electrotechnical Commission in short, IEC, had developed a method to screen for polybrominated biphenyls, polybrominated diphenyl ethers and phthalate ester in polymers using gas chromatography mass spectrometry paired with pyrolyzer thermal desorption accessory. It is found in IEC 62321 Part 33. It provides workflow and analytical condition to screen for these three groups of substances in polymer material. As this is a screening method, the total time spent from sample preparation is way shorter as compared to traditional method which required long sample pre-treatment protocol and large amount of organic solvent. For user that want to follow IEC 62321 Part 33 and does not have any experience or want to have a ready method, don't worry. Shimadzu have everything covered for you. Shimadzu can provide a full package ranging from instrument to ready method for this sample analysis of polybrominated biphenyls, polybrominated diphenyl ethers and phthalate ester in polymers. First, Shimadzu can provide instrument like pyrolyzer with GCMS for screening of these three groups of compounds. Next, to ease the user workload from setting up the method from scratch, Shimadzu had developed a program called PY Screener, which consists of ready methods, workflow documents and software to analyze your sample and to process your sample results. With PY Screener, even a non-analytical background user can prepare the sample and start the sample analysis without facing any difficulties. PY Screener is a program which simplify the process of analyzing phthalate esters and brominated flame retardant compounds. By clicking at the sample preparation icon, it will load a page which consists of a few videos on how to prepare sample. 
If analysis icon is clicked, it will load all the required software to run sample. For data processing, it will load the correct software to check your result. For the maintenance, it will load a page which show the steps to do for system maintenance. Now, let me demonstrate to you in details of all the four functions in the PY screener. First, let's start off with the sample preparation function. Inside this page, it consists of three different videos on different type of sample preparation. If you click on the link, a video will be loaded, and it will show you how to prepare samples. If we scroll down all the way below, part number for the consumable are given for user to order if used finish. Another advantage is that user can purchase fall 8 ester standards from Shimadzu if they had already purchased Pyrolyzer GCMS and PY Screener from Shimadzu. Shimadzu fall 8 ester standard is designed in a way for simple preparation to reduce preparation time. No organic solvent is required for fall 8 ester standard preparation. It comes with three different concentrations for quality control check and to build calibration curve. The standards come in ribbon shape with fixed thickness. A special puncher tools called micro puncher with fixed diameter is used to punch out a hole on the standard. You only need to punch it two times to meet the weight requirement for standard preparation. Then record the weight and cover the sample with wools. Finally, load the sample cup onto the system and start the sample analysis. To start sample analysis, simply click on the analysis icon at the PY Screener program. It will load the required software to control the system. Multiples ready method files for different user requirement or request were provided when user installed the PY Screener. To add on, one of the methods to screen for 7th fall 8 ester and brominated flame retardants had total run time been reduced by almost 40% as compared to the conventional method. For more information, please click on the link below. The only things which user needs to do is to load the batch table template, key in their sample information, delete away unwanted rows, and save the batch table. Then, start both the GCMS and Pyrolyzer batch table to start the run. Once sample analysis completed, user can click on the data processing icon to load the software for data processing. Then, load the batch table used for sample analysis followed by the flag files developed by Shimadzu. With the flag function, any QC standard or sample that fails the screening criteria will be highlighted with a striking color. The software had been designed in a way to be more intuitive for user to quickly identify failed sample from many samples. Lastly, PY Screener provide detailed maintenance guide for user to perform maintenance when their system is dirty. User only need to click on the correct instrument model followed by the part of the system to be maintained, and the page will show user the steps to follow with pictures included too. With maintenance guide provided to user, it will help to reduce the downtime of instrument as the user will not need to call and arrange a time for the service team to visit for system maintenance. For more information on ROSE 2 analysis, please click on the link below. Excellence in Science. Shimazu.